Then we went south, went all the way to Grenada. That was neat. Yeah, that was the and three days later we caught that marlin. Yeah. Right. After that, yeah, after, that, uh, later, yeah, well, after that day is when we caught deep. the marlin. So then Johnny's into his job, and I remember that. And you and I were sitting out here in the back on the 52, and, and I said, so what do you think? You know, well, you know, just like he said, he wasn't sure about the first four days, but since then, he's having a blast. Oh, yeah. I mean, we caught some ballyhoo one night, and you guys ended up catching a sailfish. Oh, okay. Saint Vincent. Yeah, them, yeah. uh, which was awesome. But you and I were sitting back there, and I said, well, um, Johnny, I'm thinking about this, thinking about looking at this 68. Are you maybe interested in coming aboard full time? You know, and it wasn't. You were instant, man. I mean, oh, yeah. yeah. I, I don't said, even well, think I let you about finish the... your last word. And I was <laughs> yeah. like, yes. I was, yes. I was like, what about this, the uh, small motors, you know? And, and I've never met his brother, but I know. I feel like I know him through these guys. And the one time I heard him listen, to, and he said, if I didn't have a kid, that would be me out there. You know? <laughs> and, but, you know, his brother's got a, especially now, a great business over in Stewart. Yeah, Red Coast Marine. He's and, killing and, it. And uh, But, you know, so that was great. Johnny came on board, and we... Ended up getting what I thought was going to be my last sports fishing boat. And, you know, the 68, uh, we wore that out, you know. I mean, oh, yeah. that Put thing. We didn't travel as much, boat. but we certainly did a lot of fishing on it. What well, were on the mains, Ian, and the generators? The generators yeah. were, were high. When we bought the boat, there was 230 hours on the generators. And by the time we let it go, there was like in the 6,000s. And that's because we were here years. all the time and never had... We were just anchored out in well, wells. Well, you guys have, were already no, here. No, plug the no power. power. Yeah, like 12,000 hours <laughs> in, in cooking, two years baby. or something. Yeah. yeah, They held up, too, though. I mean, yeah. that, that, that's a lot of oil friend. changes. A lot of oil yeah. changes. <laughs> and, then, and then, gosh, it's hard. to. We had that boat for a couple years, and yeah. and I actually sold that boat for 100000 less than I paid for it, which was to good timing. But uh, in the meantime, about it's hard to believe it's been a year. A year, but, yeah, a year uh, going on a year here for us. The Gigi got struck by lightning and just fried everything. So we literally had to tow her back to Fort Lauderdale. And uh, we moved on to the frigate. And the 68 walls started closing in on me. <laughs> and, uh, things were tight. Things were things tight. Things were yeah. a little tight. And I yeah. kind of said to Ian, yeah, God, we were seeing the 80s on the market. Let's go. Let's go look. About 30 seconds later, Ian's got one picked out. And I think, it, what, this isn't the boat, but we... We were looking at a couple of them, we and looked then looked at a convertible. Yeah, looked at a convertible, and we—I always said my whole life I'd never buy in a closed bridge, and this thing happened to be it was over at Larry's place, wasn't it? At, uh, Admiral's Cove. Admiral's yeah. Cove. And first of all, we—it had an orange stripe around it. Nobody liked it. It's still there because we all love it now. <laughs> it's definitely grown on us. <laughs> um, it's a little signature. But I'm telling you, the minute we stepped on this boat, we're like, "Yep, I think we could do this," and I am in love with the. It's a little cumbersome sometimes, but Ian fishes out back here. You know, they're wearing headphones these days. Um, but having that enclosed bridge is like an extra room. It's it's privacy. Ian slept up there if we're overloaded. Yeah. It's, it's actually awesome. super comfortable yeah, up there, is. too. The AC yeah. nice. cranks. Yeah. Awesome in weather. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We've realized that a couple times. Yeah, it's I mean, nice yeah, we, we're it's, going we back and forth. We definitely love it now. It was, it, was, it was weird at first, just kind of like, you know, the view you have now, you know, it's, yeah. it's a little more tighter than than having the convertible and stuff you're kind of locked in there so it took a little while to get used to it like the rock and rolling's even a little different without you know when you're inside other than being kind of outside you know there's always a difference but it like after a couple of rough days of of crossings it was like this thing is everything yeah this is the money because yeah. you're still you know, getting salty <clears throat> as hell in the convertible you know even though yeah. you got your eyes and glass up it's like a it's like what is it the wagon Volkswagen, effect, Volkswagen yeah. effect yeah, yeah. So, so it's super nice so that's kind of our <clears throat> brief little history let's, let's talk some fishing stories yeah